I'm going to read this poem by Sir Thomas Wyatt. And this area is called Dalston Kingsland. The Kingsland relates to Henry VIII, who, um, this was his hunting ground. It was a forest back then with wild boar and deer, all specifically for Henry's use. So Thomas Wyatt, the poet, and Anne Boleyn were courtiers of Henry's and they hunted with him. And there's still traces of, of you know, them passing through. We're actually in King Henry Street King Henry's Walk is back there and Boleyn Street, which was originally the Walk of Anne Boleyn. Um, so they all hunted together and originally Wyatt was in love with Anne. She was supposedly his lover and he had to give her up once Henry had decided he wanted her. Um, and this poem is believed to be about Anne, but he can't speak about this straightforwardly because these were dangerous times to, you know, to say exactly what was going on in your head because Maybe a year before or maybe afterwards Anne's execution when she was beheaded was when this poem was written. And they were written in manuscript and just passed around between the courtiers. They weren't published. So this doesn't have a title. They flee from me that sometime did me seek with naked foot stalking in my chamber. I have seen them gentle, tame and meek that now are wild and do not remember that sometime they put themselves in danger to take bread at my hand. And now they range, busily seeking, with a continual change. Thanked be fortune, it hath been otherwise, twenty times better. But once in special, in thin array, after a pleasant guise, when her loose gown from her shoulders did fall, she me caught in her arms long and small. Therewithal, sweetly did me kiss, and softly said, Dear heart, how like you this? It was no dream. I lay broad waking, but all is turned through my gentleness into a strange fashion of forsaking, and I have leave to go of her goodness, and she also to use new fangleness. But since that I so kindly am served, I would fain know what she hath deserved. <laughs>